I now call upon Manat Kaur, the founder of the organization known as Object. Object aims to ensure that young girls have the right self-image, confidence and self-esteem to pursue their passion. This is achieved through numerous workshops. And now we are going to be, part, uh, be a part of such a workshop. I request Srisha Ma'am, Director, SSVM Institution, to please present the bouquet to our guest. Hey everyone, how are you? Yeah, uh, I am super, super excited to be here. My name is Manhat. Um, I'm in the 11th standard now. Um, I live in San Francisco, California. And I started Object when I was in eighth grade. I really like math and science. I'm a huge nerd. Um, but when I was in middle school, I didn't have the confidence to pursue that. And I started Object when I was in eighth grade. I really like math and science. I'm a huge nerd. Um, but when I was in middle school, I didn't have the confidence to pursue that. And I felt that the girls around me were changing. And in order for me to be cool, I had to put away my love for math and science and instead focus on my appearance and um, act shy in class and not raise my hand. And what I realized eventually is that as girls, we often don't have women role models like Nandini Raghaswamiji uh, to hear their stories and to learn about their challenges. And so I really wanted to create a platform for us to hear their stories, learn about what they do, and also mingle with each other and eat good food because I really love to eat. Um, dal makhani is my favorite. You can, I arrived in Delhi a couple days ago. I ate so much dal, so much naan. It's what I was looking forward to on my entire flight here. Um, so what I want to do now is just lead you through one of the activities that we did at our workshop in San Francisco about superpower strengths. Um, this is a framework created by Sukinder Cassidy, who is um, the board member of a company called TripAdvisor. Are you guys familiar with TripAdvisor? Yeah. Um, so they do all this travel stuff. And her philosophy is that you need to know the one or two things that you're good at, own to them, and play to them, and then build and form strong teams um, to complement each other and eventually create a great product. And I want you to think about when you first realize that you're good at these things, because your superpowers, they show up early, and you realize very quickly what you're good at. For example, my superpower is I don't take no for an answer. Um, if my parents tell me, if I want to do something and my parents say no, I don't listen to them, and I keep fighting. Um, and what does that result in? That means that, oops, I never give up, and I'm hustling, and I'm perseverant, and for example, with object, that means that when a speaker says they don't want to lead a workshop, I say, okay, that's fine. And I go and I try and find someone else. My other superpower is that I'm creative and I'm a good problem solver. And that means that I have a unique way of approaching situations, right? And I can handle all the different challenges I face. For example, we had this one workshop a couple of months ago and the videographer decided to not show up for the first 20 minutes of the event. So here I am, the speaker's there, the workshop's about to get started and the person isn't here to film. So what do I do? I think, well, okay, I have to start the event because the speaker has to go somewhere. Why don't I try and find a way to solve this solution? And so I decided to film the event on my dad's phone. I decided to approach the problem and solve it creatively. So as a good leader, you have to know the one or two things that you're good at. And you really have to play to that. And you have to own to that. And like I mentioned, you have to form teams that can then help you. And you can complement each other to work together and build a great product. So you really have to discover, embrace, and unlock your superpowers. So I want to lead you now through an exercise that we did in San Francisco where I want you to think about some of the superpowers you have um, and just create a poster listing I'm good at persevering and I'm good at hustling and what are all the different outcomes that you can have. Um, so 
For example, my poster would look like I would write down that I'm a good problem solver and I would write down the three or four ways that that can help me in life. And the goal is for you to think about your superpowers and also think about the different areas where you can apply them and how you can really use them to grow. Um, so you have paper with you and I think you have some pens as well. So create a poster, write down the few things that you're good at, write down how those manifest, make it decorative um, and be super creative about it. And we'll take maybe half an hour for you to make the poster um, and write everything down and then we'll also share as a group and just get to know what other people's strengths are so that you know who to work with next time you're looking to build a team. So you can get started with your posters. Yeah, get creative. Um, you can do drawings, doodling, I don't know, I'm not really an artist, that's not my superpower, but if that's yours, then you should definitely do it. Just please don't make me feel bad about myself. <laughs>
I had a huge dilemma, should I take science because I'm good at science and it was also my favorite subject. But then at the same time, I couldn't see myself as a person working in the science field. So I thought, fine, I'll take commerce and I assure you for all the 10th graders right now, it's okay. Okay? Even if you want to do science, you can take commerce and still keep science as your passion. I still do some researches in science inside of that as a side uh, passion. Then I have dramatics. I'm not one of the best actors like Deepika Padukone or something, but then <laughs> I like acting, so I think it's one of my strengths that way. And then these are ballet shoes. I'm not good at drawing, sorry. That I don't know what it looks like, but I tried my best to draw a ballet shoe. <laughs> It looks like actually a fingernail suddenly. So that's it, that's it, that's Gavinia. Thank you. I wish I could draw like that. If I can like draw a line that's straight, I call it a good day. Um, who else would like to share? Uh, so very good afternoon to one of present here. Uh, well, I'm not gonna bore y'all out. So y'all know me, I'm Natalia. I've been in this school for pretty much long time. So basically my name's Natalia. It means something new, like something, um, Un unusual, like I try new things, so that's I kind of I think I'm in born. That's in born in me, like to try new things, to be adventurous. I'm a very sportive person because anything new, I don't back out immediately. May probably I will like take time, but then if at all I'm doing it, I will do it. So that's one. Then uh, yeah, and then I've written I am loyal. So yes. You can ask my friends, I am loyal. Well, if, don't laugh, I am actually loyal. <laughs> well, um, well, till now there's no, I've not like betrayed anybody, have I? No, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. So I'm pretty much loyal well, to my parents, to any, I'm loyal to anything I love. And till now, I pretty much love everything I do. I don't hate anything, no personal vengeance. So, yeah. Um, then, oh yes, talking. I can talk all my life. I can like do this all day. I can talk. I can talk and talk and talk, but I love talking. That's, I feel that's one of my plus points is because earlier I used to be a person who used to be scared to come up on stage, but look at me, I'm right here in front of you talking. So it's because I love doing what I do and what I do best is talk. And um, yeah, well, I love drawing. Uh, I love doodling, uh, well, because the first time I knew I was good at drawing is when I was in fifth. I made a caricature, that's uh, a cartoon image of my social teacher, <laughs> and uh, she kind of left the school, so that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but then they were not good. I drew her sari well. So then, uh, yeah, so that's when I realized I actually loved drawing, and I started off with doodles. And then I moved on to normal sketching and all that, so I realized I was good at that. Um, then, yeah, I didn't know I was good at dancing until Karunia came. She pulled me into her group. And yeah, and then I started moving on to stage for dancing. Then, uh, after that, I'm good at, like, I'm a great dramatist uh, because we, uh, the school actually gave me that op opportunity for coming up. We came up with Mandya language drama. And it was a, a fantastic, like that experience was amazing. So ever after that, I never let go of that. So I made sure for every English month celebration or any of the Sahodias for dra dramatics, I would always like put my name up. So those are the uh, few things that I'm good at. Oh yeah, and I forgot about reading. I love reading. Any book, I mean, not my studies books. <laughs> uh, I somehow just do not love reading that, but I do read that too. <laughs> But any other novel or any science fiction, I love science fiction and fantasies, anything like that, I would, like I can read that book over and over again. So that's me, like basically doing new things and love doing that. And I am probably good at being me. No matter where I am, I'm myself. So thank you. My parents wish I loved reading as much as she does. Um, it's not very fun for me, so kudos to you. Can we have one more person come up and share? Oh, or more than one, if you guys would all like to share. No? And me. I, I just wrote down a few of my strengths. It's not really that decorative. But I think 
my biggest strength is that I'm really determined for achieving my dreams and I put in tons of hard work. I really want to be a doctor and I've been working for that since I was a small kid and I have had a lot of obstacles in my that I have faced a lot of obstacles and I won't stop until I achieve it. I also one of my other big strengths is I am extremely pain tolerant, not emotionally, I'm a very sensitive person, but physically I'm very pain tolerant. <laughs> Another one of my uh, strengths is I often put a lot of people in front of me before thinking about myself. Like I, even my own, I put my friends, my family uh, in front of me more than my own health house as well. And my parents don't think that's one of my strengths, but I do think that it's one of my strengths. And um, I also like to help others. And I adjust to a lot of situations, and I'm not a big fan of complaining either. And um, I learned that from my mom, from adjusting to a lot of things that she had to adjust to, and I learned that from her as well. I also like to sing, and I love classical dance. And because I do go through a lot of stress, and the way I cope with that is singing, and I, I learned a lot through my friends actually, and also through my family, and doing classical dance, singing, and baking, cooking, as well as reading storybooks, that's another kind of way which I cope with my stress. So these are some of my slides. Thank you. We do a different thing. She is going to talk about my superpower, and I'm going to talk about her superpowers, okay? So starting with me. She is very, you know, talented. I'm actually jealous of her talent. She can just judge a person like, I don't know, a nap or a finger. Like a finger. Like, she's damn good at it. But me, I take a lot of time. So I feel that's a really, really good advantage. When you're moving around with a lot of people, I think that's great. Uh, one of her most uh, power no, is like, uh, she, um, uh, she's a very good detective. So anything <laughs> detective in the sense, I'm talking about as a mall detective. If a, even, even though a pen gets lost in her class, she will be the one who finds it out. Because I think she's the one who's stealing it. Then. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure about it. Um, next thing is, she analyzes every aspect of a situation. So that's something very true. And I've noticed every time in her, uh, analyzing things is very good in her. Not like me, but still. <laughs> She's amazing in tennis, okay? She could just go like the Serena Williams of our, of our school, I would say. She's just amazing. She just puts so much effort and no matter, she's really good in academics also. So I, I'm really jealous of the way she, you know, balances both. She's just great. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and uh, one of her positive things that I always admire is she never says no, as you said. She never says no to any question until she finds it, uh, you know, until she is more confident in it. Okay, so that's really a great thing. Uh, taking everything in a positive manner. Yeah. So yeah, one more thing about her, she's a leader. Okay, like when I'm saying leader, I mean it. She, you know, she just carries herself so well. She sets herself as an, exa as an example, but at the same time, she's nice. She doesn't like boss over you or something. So I think that's great when you're actually leading a, a school or a, a class, for now she's the class leader. So yeah, so she's, in that way, I would say she's like, you know, that's the best thing I would say. I, I, I'm not repeating it, but yeah, she's not bossy. She, she understands what you want and she takes it, you know, she takes us together in the right path properly. Oh, it's so nice to hear it from the from my classmate, okay? <laughs> and yeah, as she said about me, it's like I'm a class leader from first grade. Uh, yeah, from first grade till now, I'm being the class leader of my class, and I've never broke my record. And telling Karunya, maybe after four years, that batch is mine. <laughs> That's it, so, you know. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, I would say, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, okay, but I still admit that I'm jealous of her. I've been, you know, I'm the Barbian vice captain, and I, you know, I've been learning so much from her, okay, I think I'm doing pretty good. Guys, you know what, I, I'm in, I'm all, uh, I'm in Barbian house also, and then she actually wanted to win, so I just gave her. Oh, you did, you did, you did do that. Okay, yeah, and she sings. I'm not saying she sings really well, she sings. So, thank you guys. Thank you.
you to really think about the your classmates came up and shared today and you see what they're good at, you know what you're good at, so how can you really use that to make a team and together make a difference and become change makers and do something that helps you, helps your community and really helps everyone. Um, and knowing what you're good at and really owning up to that will make you so much more confident and I think you guys will all be great leaders. Thank you so much for having me, this was a lot of fun for me. Thank you, Manat. She uh, made a trip all the way from US um, and we made sure we have a workshop today as well so that um, you know she can be here to inspire all of you. Um, doing something at such a young age is not an easy feat at all. So um, we definitely inspired all the girls here and they're already on with the fire. <laughs> so thank you so much. Yeah, we look forward to doing more of uh, Prerna and we were just talking about um, how we can have a club here and all of you can get involved, right? Now that you know how Prerna is running, you all can get involved, you can interview, uh, you can come up with the questions that you would like to uh, ask and then you can also run the activity. So we can just do it as a team, right? So thank you so much for being so involved and uh, reflecting on it really well and we look forward to doing more and inspiring you and empowering all of you. Thank you guys. Small vote of thanks. So, as we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not just to utter words, but to live by them. So, whatever we learned today from uh, the previously spoken Namdini Ma'am and from Mana, Srisha Ma'am, everything, don't, don't just like take it as an advice, implement it in your own life. So, first of all, I would like to thank our school management director, Srisha Ma'am, for even us to organize these kind of events. Many schools, uh, many students and girl students especially never get a chance to become inspired by other girl leaders. So thank you so much Mom, for that. Second, I would like to thank Mana for coming all the way from San Francisco to here, to even to come and talk to our school girls. Thank you so much. 